This sales report is grouped by salesperson and we have their first name, last name and email address in the group header level one. I will suppress that section, but Visual Cut will still be able to use that information for dynamic bursting, emailing and so on. So let's switch over to Visual Cut and run this report. In the export email tab, we can see that Visual Cut recognized the fields and formulas that we placed in group header level one. The email to formula gives us a dynamic value for each employee. And similarly, the employee first name and last name give us dynamic values. We use those within the export file name, along with some tokens for the year and the month to place each export file in a different folder and name it according to the employee we're bursting to. We're exporting to Excel data only and emailing using the email to formula to a different employee for each burst step. So let's see how this works. And what we notice here is that there is a step called XLS set table done. So let's see what that means. In the arguments area here, we have an XLS set table directive. And that directive tells Visual Cut that after each export, it should go into that dynamically named export file name and set a table within it in sheet one beginning with cell A1 and using a style of medium 2. So let's see what that does. If I double click the export file name, it will open the export folder and we can see that indeed these six Excel files got created. I'll open one of them, for example, for Dodsworth, and we can see that the exported data was indeed formatted as a table. The table directive included a style choice of medium 2, which is this one. Now, the advantage of formatting the data as a table is that we can easily filter, sort. In this case, it's by country, but we can do this on lead time and do things such as number filters and say that we want to see only lead times that are less than three. And when we click OK, we get data that has short lead times here. Here are the emails that were bursted out by Visual Cut, and you can see that each employee receives a customized email with their specific file attached. This was achieved by using this email to formula and an HTML editor here that allows us to customize the message with dynamic tokens. Here's a slightly altered setup where we send all the exports as individual tabs named according to the employee last name within a single workbook called salesreport.xlsx. I'll turn off the email in this case and just demonstrate the directive has changed so that instead of sheet one, it is referring to the employee last name tab within that workbook, but everything else remains the same. So when the process is done, I get a single workbook called salesreport.xlsx and if I open it up in Excel, we should see six different tabs with the names of the employees, all of them formatted as tables. 